Hi Libra, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be a weekly love forecast. Let's see what you'll experience in the coming week. So, for the 20th King of Pentacles in reverse here, it could be dealing with someone who's non-committal or you're just dealing with someone who's very greedy with their energies. But at the same time, this could also be you who's very focused on your own work, your career, your goals, and um, you're pretty much focused on everything but the relationship. On the 21st, we have the hermit here. So there are chances here that you could isolate yourself or you could just go into hermit mode, all right? You could probably just want to take a break, want to stay in your own zone, want to stay away from people. So yeah, with the hermit here, I feel that you could be wanting some time out on the, 20, on the 21st, okay? Wanting to contemplate, wanting to think about a situation, wanting to think about your next moves, contemplating your next moves, wanting to know what, when, where, how, why, but uh, wanting to do a lot of thinking, okay? You want your time alone and I think you're going to enjoy your space. But this is a very wise move, all right? You're um, not feeling lonely, but you're wanting that space, wanting that isolation for a bit to think about yourself. On the 22nd, we have the tower in reverse here. So which means that uh, either there is someone here who you've had a fallout with, who you've had <coughs> a tower moment, who's wanting to come in and rebuild the tower with a strong structure, okay? Or this is just someone here or you who's trying to avoid a disaster, all right? But we're going to clarify the cards. 23. All right, 23rd, we do have the four of wands in reverse here. So which means that there are chances that there is going to be a lot of disharmony between you and the person you're dealing with in love. But this could also be a lack of commitment. This could be a fallout between two people who are in harmony. But <coughs> this is also a lack of reunion. Okay, you guys are probably still not getting onto the same page. This could be work and home conflicts. But this could also be someone who you want some stability with. But there is a lot of instability and security within the relationship. Okay, you could also be ending a long term commitment. Well, lovers in reverse here. Yeah, so there are chances that you could be emotionally one person out here is emotionally more involved than the other. But the lovers in reverse is also fear of commitment. Okay. <clears throat> maybe you want something serious okay and the person you're dealing with is uh, probably having a hard time committing or wanting to be on the same page with you but there's a lot of contemplation going on on if this person wants a deeper level of commitment with you or it could be you vice versa okay but there is uh this could be an end of a soulmate contract but i'm getting more like a disconnection okay <clears throat> there is an imbalance here where you both need to question the connection you both need to know if you guys are on the same page wanting the same things or you guys have completely diverted your goals on the 25th we have the five of swords in reverse here so yeah i do see you walking away from a situation where there could be serious conflicts between you guys uh, this could be serious uh, communication issues also, but I'm getting more of like whenever you want to talk to this person about something very committed or you just want to address the issues in your relationship, this person tries to shun you away, okay? A lot of mind games going on, this person tries to manipulate the situation and a lot of mind fuckery going on, but you are choosing to walk away <coughs> and not stay in a relationship where, uh, you know, there is just no open clarity, where there's no open dialogue, okay? This person could be constantly trying to sabotage the connection, all right? But this could also be someone who's wanting to have reconciliation. I won't be very sure about that, but I'm going to have to clarify. On the 26th, we have the emperor in reverse here. So yeah, there is a situation which is going out of control, okay? <clears throat> By the end of the week, there is someone here who's a complete control freak, which is why you're wanting to walk away. This person probably is someone who's again not wanting to offer you anything stable and secure, which is again putting you in the hermit mode. You're putting you to think about the situation, okay? And um, maybe you're trying your best to avoid a disaster with this person, okay? You're trying to avoid, or you're just, uh, I mean, uh, trying your best not to create a mess. Or this could just be this person who doesn't want to create a mess, and that's why they're choosing to pull away from you. But yeah, there is two people here who need to sit and talk and want to discuss if your goals are together or if you're wanting to move together uh, on the same road, okay? But the emperor in reverse yet, by the end of the week, you could be dealing with a control freak. This is a tyrant. This is someone who's very hard to budge and someone who is more like my way or the highway. This person lacks structure, <coughs> lacks routine, okay? They lack a way to go around with a situation or with a connection, okay? And um, 
when this person loses control over the situation they try to control the situation externally okay which means by playing mind games or trying to force the situation or you whatever have you but yeah this is definitely someone who's um, becoming more like a control freak a tyrant okay rather than uh, trying to you know they're not even being able to boss up and when it really comes up to taking control of the situation that's when they're popping out okay taking the easy way out the topic of the week is going to be the queen of cups yeah see because you are deeply in love with someone okay you are in love with someone with the queen of cups here and i feel that right now your love is shut off okay you have unconditional love you're being very compassionate uh you want to be there for this person all right but the thing is that the person you're dealing with is not on the same page with you again queen of cups king of pentacles in reverse here so yeah there is an imbalance like i said right you are way more involved into this emotionally than the other person is maybe this person wants is someone who just runs away from something committed or just does likes it the traditional way okay but yeah you're dealing with someone who has a very very uh hard time looking at things from your point of view okay <coughs> let's clarify but yeah you're trusting your intuition and you know your intuition is probably asking you to back out and give it some time and give it some thought about what you really want okay actually no let me use another deck clarify Clarify. Okay, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's going on. Oh, this sign of Libra. Give me one more shuffle. Guys, definitely get back, okay, out here, and let me know in the comments below if this resonates with you. You can come back any time throughout the week and uh, let me know if it makes sense or if it resonates. All right, let's start with the King of Pentacles in reverse here. Tell me, clarify the King of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse? Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse? <clears throat> See four of cups you're very dissatisfied with a situation okay currently in your love life okay you could be feeling that this person is not moving towards you steadily they're very stubborn about their ways could be dealing with someone who's very conservative in their ways but someone definitely who is focused on everything but the relationship honestly you could be dealing with someone who's very materialistic okay and the, the four of cups here there's a lot of disappointment and dissatisfaction with this person here uh, this is someone who constantly emotionally breadcrumbs you, okay, and they try to keep you around in the situation and you just feel that you're not getting what you deserve and the love and affection that you deserve, okay, you just feel you're not getting it and you're just bored, okay, you're just bored to a certain extent. But yeah, you're probably contemplating. Maybe there are, there are other offers coming in or with the Four of Cups here. There is something else better out there or there is something that you need to see. But you're not because you're too focused on the Three Cups that have already spilled or Three Cups that have already gone in the past. And that's why you're not being able to see the light in the situation here. What's the hub? Tell me, what is the hermit? What is the hermit? <laughs> the hermit clarified by the hermit. Damn. Okay, that... <laughs> to both the cards that is enhancing the energy okay there is a very 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 solid need to contemplate about what is going on a very very important need uh it's very necessary for you to pull away take a break from the situation here and this is a major arcana here okay two major arcanas both the same which means it doubles the energy a very strong need for you to pull away from this drama go within yourself isolate yourself stop communication no communication just just i'm not asking you to block this person well if you want to you can but energetically block this person so you can get a little more highlights about what you want in this relationship okay or if you want to move forward with them you don't want to move forward with them what is the next step are you happy here are you not happy here is there any negative patterns that you're repeating what are you trying to avoid what disaster are you trying to avoid there's a very strong need here uh, on the 21st for you to just 
go back into your cocoon okay because i feel here that there are some negative patterns that have been repeating over and over again you're not being able to see the light okay maybe you're giving this person chances over chances and this person doesn't seem to get the point here okay so yeah there is a very strong need here if you're not this is what 21st is asking you to do take a time off take that time off all right uh, what is the tower in reverse what is the tower in reverse ah okay you're trying to avoid probably you're trying to uh, you, you probably feel that um you probably feel very left out in the relationship here okay and you're probably even getting scared that you probably may feel very isolated this person could be someone where you're in this relationship with this person but you're always feeling isolated always feeling left out probably even feel that you're the only one who puts in all the work okay and this person is just never there for you but that's a very codependent energy that's a very lack mindset here okay but with the tavern reverse here it also feels that you're trying to avoid a disaster okay you probably feel that it's going to be really screwed up okay um whatever is going to crash okay but yeah with the five of pentacles here i feel what you're trying to avoid is that you don't want to land up lonely in this relationship and that's why you're probably wanting to think a lot about this but yeah there's definitely something here which you feel is going to be a huge shake up and you don't you you're trying to avoid this as much as you can okay maybe you know that you need to break up maybe you know that you need to let this person go but there is a negative pattern and you are refusing to do that <coughs> i don't see <coughs> I don't see the death card here, but I feel that you're definitely, you know that something needs to end here. It could be a person, a relationship, or could be a thought pattern, like I said. It could be an old belief system, okay? But because it's going to push you out of your comfort zone, uh, you're refusing to do it. So, yeah. So, like, that's what I said. Like, it can also be that, you know, like, you almost know that your relationship is as good as over, or it, something's just not working out, okay? But you're constantly trying to avoid an actual ending here because of the fear of the pain that it will bring okay probably you know that this is going to bring you feeling very isolated left out you're going to feel very lonely all right but that is your lack mindset here okay you feel you're going to be lonely you feel you're going to be left out but the thing is that this is just a mindset where you feel incomplete but actually we're all complete okay you are a whole on your own you don't need anyone to complete you. You don't need anyone to make you happy, okay? And this, whatever you're trying to resist, no matter how much thinking you do, but till you're not, you're going to keep avoiding this tower moment, it's almost like a lesson. And every single time you try to avoid it and start a cycle, okay, without learning your lessons, the lesson is going to keep repeating itself and every single time, it's going to be tougher and tougher and tougher, okay? So that's up to you. Why the four of wands in reverse? You're scared to be lonely, you know? You're scared to be alone. You could be someone who comes off as a little codependent. You know, you probably need someone. You need someone's approval. You need that endorsement. You need someone to make you happy, okay? Not a very good place to be in. That's very codependent. That's why whoever can come in, if not this, there can be another person who can come into the relationship, okay? And you're still not going to be happy because along with dependence comes that subtle fear. What if this person isn't there tomorrow? And that's what makes you, that's what makes you codependent just for whoever needs to hear it you probably want to work on a connection or there's someone here who wants to work on a connection okay that is lacking that instability lack, lacking that stability and security okay? there's a lot of disharmony between you guys so like i said your relationship probably you know it's just this is like an unhappy unhappy family life <coughs> instability insecurity neglect you know or probably you're just being very being very uprooted okay so your relationship may be going through a very tough time or a very unpredictable time okay so yeah but this is happening because there's one person here who's either very very focused on their career their goals with the eight of pentacles here there's someone who wants to either work on this okay on the situation or this is happening because one person is not focused on the relationship and focused on everything else i'm getting that you still want to work on this relationship okay you're trying still trying to <coughs> do everything that you can to fix this situation okay see again like i said right because you don't want to let this go you want to fix it okay and you're wanting to work on this and this is almost like you're wanting to obsessively work on this now this could be you this could be the person you're dealing with take it vice versa okay but someone's definitely wanting to work on something that is causing a lot of you know like say instability like i said 
maybe you and your partner not seeing eye to eye right now okay you guys could be having some issues with getting your family to accept your relationship something like that okay so <clears throat> whatever the disconnection is right there is there is a disconnection probably because of the commitment part okay with the ace of pentacles here so there is someone here who's still not making a very logistic decision okay there is someone here who's still making um not being able to make a head over heart decision okay someone who's copping out someone who's being a coward they know what they need to do so um you and your partner like i said right not on the same page all right but um could be in other important areas also but again like i said one person is emotionally more invested with the relationship but i'm getting here as fear of commitment fear or trust issues okay which is stopping you or stopping this person from jumping into something uh, very fully committed okay which is again very necessary for your relationship to flourish you flourish you may have different goals different values you know and different hopes for the future but whatever this has to do this has to do with the ace of pentacles which is having difficulty to get something off ground okay whatever it is it is around a commitment okay so yeah someone needs to make a choice and there is conflict between you guys where someone is lacking the accountability okay someone is more detached out here that's why there's a lack of union but whatever this has to do someone needs to make up their mind if they want a brand new practical beginning if they want commitment if they want something solid or stable with you or this could be you <clears throat> why the five of swords in reverse for the 25th 10 of cups yeah so i think that there is a probably a reconciliation here coming up for you on the 25th or okay because you're walking away towards your 10 of cups which means you're ready to walk away from mind games or there's someone here who's wanting to have an open dialogue with you okay someone who's ready to talk to you about this okay they're ready to confront the issues that you guys have because they see you walking away and whatever it is there is a huge potential for a 10 of cups which is a happily ever after this is 10 of cups is an emotional fulfillment card a happy couple or happily ever after this is commitment but more on the emotional level okay so yeah by 25th i guess that the moment you're trying to walk away there is someone here who you've left out in the cold and this is someone who's wanting to come back to you okay <coughs> there are chances that there's someone here who does not want to break up with you they're trying to avoid the disaster by uh, repeating a negative pattern again okay because they feel very left out by you they're wanting to come in and work on this relationship okay and after the disconnection this person is wanting to think about this commitment and after you walked away they're coming back towards you so <clears throat> someone is coming towards you on the 25th here okay because they want this happily ever after with you the ten of cups is like almost like a soulmate card but someone who is uh, wanting that um emotional fulfillment like i said right that's a happily ever after <coughs> so 25th i have a feeling that whoever you're dealing with by the end of the week they're coming back they are this is someone who you know who probably even um wants children with you or you could be having children with this person but that soulmate you know that's like that domestic bliss but they do want something long term with you along with the stability security and the harmony okay so that's abundance you're dealing with someone again like i said right you're dealing with someone who's again <clears throat> could be someone who's abusing their power but someone who's excessively controlling okay so what i'm getting here is that this person keeps playing mind games they come and waltz into your life whenever they want to they leave whenever they want to and it just keeps you very very confused here this person here yes they do make you very happy they are very happy with you you guys you know emotional connection is amazing okay like to the t it's perfect but this person lacks discipline okay they lack that control over uh, their structure their routine okay so what's happening here that there is this imbalance here okay this person is causing a lot of conflict because this person is too controlling okay either this is someone too possessive too stubborn or just very overbearing they want things their way only and you could be feeling very trapped because with the seven of cups here you're getting confused one second you realize that this person is meant for you and it's all good because you love them so much right so your love is just like and an overflowing cup you know you give and give and give and give <clears throat> without thinking about yourself but this person lacks that self control okay they need to get more structure in their life because they don't have structure in their life right so this is your relationship is always on a shaky ground when it comes to having that structure you know having um, a way to do things okay so you could be feeling very trapped and uh, there this is definitely someone who needs to balance okay <clears throat> and um 
in the relationship but yeah with the seven of cups here this person again on the 26th i mean they're coming in right but again their ways are probably still not going to change so you need to be very very careful about that <clears throat> but they're still coming in they want to fix this they want to fix this <sighs> let's see so you have a lot of love for them you know your love is unconditional it's very giving you know you're still out there you know and whilst this person is in the reverse here who's someone just constantly you know who keeps you very dissatisfied you know you don't get the entire package you always get bits and pieces okay and you don't want that emotional base you want the entire package <clears throat> which you're getting here okay which you're getting here after you walk away but have they changed their ways no doubt this person loves you that's not what the problem is the problem is about their approach towards the situation okay it's like yeah today they feel like they want everything with you okay great tomorrow they don't so then they're going to walk away and if they just keep leave you hanging you know <clears throat> tell me why the queen of cups why is the queen of cups here <clears throat> why is queen of cups here see knight of pentacles in reverse here <clears throat> you are in love with someone who's anyways was very slow moving towards you but again you're dealing with someone who is very focused on their work period okay but this is someone who's lacking that ambition see the energetic difference that you're getting the king of pentacles in reverse the knight of pentacles in reverse you're definitely dealing with someone who's more who's more materialistic on the materialistic side you on the other hand are more emotional okay that's why there's this constant conflict there's this constant rift here okay you want that emotional you're a little needy you're a little more your needs are more emotionally fulfilling okay that's what you want they're more about themselves and if they get that little bit of time that's when they focus on you okay which probably is also very very rare here you're dealing with someone who's <clears throat> they hardly make a move towards you you know they hardly give you time and now right now for right now they're so focused on themselves and it's just keeping you hanging okay you're just high and dry about that and that's the entire topic of the situation for this week <clears throat> your love is there but you're just dealing with someone you know who's just very very stubborn you know someone who just you know this person is very unstable you know they're probably just lacking that effort not putting in that commitment like i said 10 of cups yes ace of pentacles they're wanting okay they're wanting to start something new with you a little bit of practical okay but that's the situation here 10 of cups they have that emotional happiness with you okay they want a relationship with you but when it comes to converting the 10 of cups moving it towards something practical something tangible something sustainable something which makes you feel secure <clears throat> that's when they just cop out they need to inject some passion into this okay they're just being very boring here very lazy you know that's like someone who's just being could also be someone who likes to play the field but i'm not getting that so much here <coughs> this is someone who's just interested probably in their wealth their social status you know they just want to build a comfortable lifestyle okay but this person lacks work ethic they lack commitment they lack the focus to achieve anything you know this person could be a promise breaker also but again i'm getting someone who's very money focused and very very materialistic okay and this person can neglect his partner's needs and come across as someone very very dull and boring so that's what the theme of the week is you still love this person a lot agree but <clears throat> the kind of person you're dealing with that's in front of me so that's what i have for you libra <clears throat> i hope this reading resonates with you uh, do come back and check uh, the week uh, of how your day went and let me know in the comments below okay if it resonates so i will see you next time leave your comments below like share subscribe and take care bye bye